you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to your reading. Back with me again, Anissa from the Inner Serio. So this is going to be your love general messages. The format is going to be you versus them. I'm going to be pulling card about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, future from both parties, and advice by the end of the session, okay? Keep in mind that this is a general reading, so the rules might get reversed, or it may or may, may not resonate with you at all. And if this reading resonates with you, there's going to be a link on the description box below for a personal reading with me. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, okay? So let's do it, Cancer. A lot of people have been getting these cards lately. Cancer, you might be dealing with a Taurus, you might be dealing with a fire sign here, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you might be dealing with a Capricorn, that's as far as I can see right now, okay? However, the persons that we're, we're, we're talking about today, and I've, I've been getting this message like a lot from other signs as well, where the persons in which you're dealing with right now, they're solely focused on themselves, okay? They're solely focused on their improvement, their nourishment, or maybe their career, whatever that may be, whatever it is that makes them feel good about themselves. Because I feel that they're just, I don't know what it is about, you know, these this week, but it's like everybody here wants to uh, focus a lot more on themselves. Uh, Ten of Cups in reverse, which means that this person's energy right now is not really solely focused on the relationship. It's not solely focused on, you know, creating some sort of a collective happiness between the both of you. And with the Harithan in reverse here, it tells me that this person is just basically not focused on relationship in general. And if they were, they were, or they made promises or you had an agreement and everything like that, they're not really in the best mood to deliver it okay so your challenge here cancer is the queen of wands and also the world card in a proposition i feel that your challenge here has a lot to do with you concluding things on your own turning off the chapters and be like you know what like i'm ready to actively pursuing something that is good for me because even though in the now you're in a three of wands positions facing outward of the relationship which means that you guys are like planning and strategizing your life and be like you know what like i think there's uh, some something positive for me out there in the horizons I, I cannot wait to see it but there's a lack of push there's a lack of courage for you to go out there and just do it okay so in the past this person i mean like there's no denying that this person feels an an immense amount of emotions for you i feel that this person feels that there's a strong soul connections between the both of you however they also have a little bit of their cold sides to them it's either you might be dealing with someone who's very dismissive or very withdrawn or very like cold you know personally and sometimes for a cancer is because you know i'm a cancer rising and i'm a cancer moon sometimes we cannot deal with swords energy because it's too cold or maybe it's too harsh to a point that we're playing events in our head it's like how can you be you know that that ruthless how can you be so emotionless like how can like like those type of stuff right and that made you feel overwhelmed here in the past to a point where i feel that you also didn't um put in the necessary work or put in the necessary energy to then work on this relationship anymore because you guys feel very, very overwhelmed in the past, okay? So in the now, I feel that, yeah, I feel that you're still kind of like, you know what, like I'm very positive about, you know, the things that has happened in my life, but it's just, there's a lack of push here. There's a lack of like actually doing it, you know what I mean? You're getting there though. Nine of Wands in reverse means that you're getting over your fears, you're getting over your anxieties and all of those stuff, but it's just a little bit of a push here cancer okay so um this person citing the now five of wands and also the seven of cups in that proposition i feel that this person right now is being very very stubborn okay i think this person now is trying to send a message towards you maybe by their absence or maybe by their withdrawal or maybe by their 
attitude or behavior towards you. I feel that this person is just trying to create some sort of um, reactions or triggers towards you. But I feel that you're no longer into it, though. Like, you, okay, I'm gonna let you do your thing. Like, I'm not bothered by it anymore, you know, because I feel that there's something out there that is good for me in the future and you feel it, like you feel it in your bones, that there's something good here. Okay, I'm trying to manifest something, something good is coming. And this person, because you guys are pretty unbothered, <laughs> this person starts to assume a lot of things about you, okay? Maybe Cancer just doesn't love me anymore. It's just that I feel that this person now is starting to realize or starting to feel the absence of you. So let's see what's going on in the future before we clarify the cards, okay? <clears throat> Oh, okay. Wow. For those of you who is trying to manifest something in the now, like if you have that inkling feeling that something good is coming like a good love is really coming like something good for me is coming you're going to manifest it in the future like in a really really near future and you don't have to do anything about it because you just click because this person is going to come around to you in a very very friendly manner trying to have an emotional connections with you and also trying to build like a solid base of foundations for the relationship between the both of you so if you're tr really trying to manifest a new person into your life i see that happening in the near future really near future it's the power of you just feeling like i know something is good happening i actually have an experience about this you know my cousin who is also a cancer moon like me last year on march okay she was like she keep on telling me like i'm gonna get married this year i'm gonna get married this year and with everybody that she's talking to she'd be like i'm gonna get married this year i don't know how i don't know with who but i just know i will get married this year i will find my soulmate and my soulmate's gonna be like this 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 lo and behold on in around i think around may Okay, she finally met her husband and then they got married by the end of the year and it was perfect because literally that guy was exactly what she was describing even though she has never met him before. Okay, and this is you, Cancer. I feel that you're, you start talking out about the things that you want to manifest, okay? Because it's coming. Real good things is coming. Good love is really on the way here. Okay? Now, if you still wants to be stuck let's see let's clarify first of all i want to clarify the five of wands in upper position from their energy okay yeah i mean like you're, you're just dealing with somebody here who sees you as being okay who sees you as you know living your life and they'd be like where is my assurance where is the assurance that cancer actually care for me or cancer actually still care for me where is my assurance where is it and uh, with the five of swords in here means that this pro per person would probably probably trying to do something to get a reactions out of you because they want that assurance they want your reactions as the assurance that you still care for them so it's like fishing 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 for something Let's see the, actually, Seven of Cups in upper position from their side first, please. <clears throat> How about from Cancer, that three ones? This person might be addicted to you too here, Cancer, to be honest. I, I, yeah, let's see the Nine of Wands in reverse there from Cancer's side before I talk too much. Good thing is happening to you here, Cancer, really. So, eventually, in and now, so again, because I'm doing these readings ahead of time, right? So it's either already happened or it's going to happen like really, really soon, where this person, 
here's the funny part because they have a page of pentacles in reverse which means that after studying this relationship from top to bottom they feel that you know what like i just don't see the future in here however they still want to be feeding into the situations but again the page of cups is feeding the tower which means it's a very instigating type of energy it's a very like i'm going to be feeding into you know instigating something just to get a reaction out of cancer just so that I could piss cancer off, just so that I could make cancer feel a certain type of way. Maybe by by then, you know, I could make them love me again. Or maybe by then, you know, I could get the assurance that I'm looking for for cancer and etc. But I just feel that you guys are in a good place right now. You know, you are very aware of how this person could trigger you. And you are very much in control over your life to a point where you just want to move to calmer water and you don't want no drama and okay remember when i said that you guys are you know you know that something good is happening to you but you're not doing any actions at all i feel that you're going to get like a helpful hand from either somebody from your home or your family or from your friend so so that you could um push forward and do whatever it is that you're planning to do or to actually grab something you're gonna do it now anyway okay so let's clarify the four of wands in the future from their side <clears throat> star in reverse king of cups Seven of Cups and also the Eight of Cups. Okay, so after finally realizing that, you know, the game of them instigating something for you, the game of them, you know, trying to push for a fight or trying to push for basically anything to try to get your attentions in a negative light is not working for them. Um, they're soon come to realize that, you know what, maybe I need to do something differently because um, all of the things that I've been doing to cancers is not working. So let's do things differently. Let's not assume cancer. Let me clarify again. But you're doing really, really good. I mean, like financially, you guys are going to be good. Mentally, you guys are going to be good. You don't want to get hurt anymore. So you're going to be very protective over your heart chakras. So I see those two of cups in that preposition there. I just don't think that the majority of you would actually be feeding into the situations anymore. But even either way, you know, either way you put it, whether you want to put in the work towards these connections or to a newer connections that you've been trying to manifest, it's going to end up very good because this person finally would um, try to make it work with you very excited about like getting with you again but again not a once isn't the most like consistent or persistent type of card is much more like come in go away come in go away type of thing but this person is finally trying to understand your point of view trying to understand what your needs are what your desires are and then they're also going to be um calling like a little bit of a shot that's going to make you happy here in the future so the choice is, is up to you here, Cancer, to be honest with you. If you want to stay with this person, it means that you would have to talk a very uncomfortable conversation with this person in order for you to attain obtain this, the Ten of Pentacles that you've always been wanting. And if you guys are wanting to move to a new person that you've been trying to manifest, it could happen too, but there's going to be a pain because you would need to let this person go but again the promise of the ten of pentacles in the near future is right there for you so it's a good reading this has got to be like the most positive read i've done this week <laughs> i'm not gonna lie okay so let's pull some advice card for you here kenta
Ooh. That's a lot of cards. Okay, there, I, I'm getting like a lot of messages here, hun, guys. Okay, so the first one is that, Cancer, I think you're holding on for something that you should have let go for a very long time. You see, right after the Tower card, you would have the Four of Pentacles. But the Four of Pentacles, this is an after tarot deck, so it's very different, right? You see how the Four of Pentacles is? Like you've been holding on to something that the universe has been trying to protect you from. Because tower card is like a lightning that strikes something that is built on a faulty foundation or an unstable foundation or something that is basically just not good for you. And even though those towers had happened, you're still holding on to it like you're it's your dear life. Like you, you like, I, I just don't want this to end. Like this is me. What am I going to do without this? You know, like there is this sense of you holding on to it very, very tightly. The why? Okay. The advice here is that you need to let go of the things that the the divine or universe is trying to protect you from tower isn't really a bad card tower is like an awakening that oh you know what that's not good for you i'm trying to protect you here but you're holding on to it very very tightly okay and right next to it is like you need to start finding your own support system you need to start sharing your stories because i feel that the honeymoon phase of the connections has been over anyway and just like share your stories with other people you know um Usually when people get into sadness or whenever people get into disappointment, they would isolate themselves and they would keep things to themselves. That is going to lead to depression. That is going to lead you to become even more depressed. The right thing to do is just to find a support system, share your stories. Maybe that person have gone through, you know, the same thing that you have. Talking it out is healthy, okay? Talking it out is really, really healthy. And the lastly, I think you need to start being really, really active about doing something i feel that there's going to be like a person it could be your friend it could be your support system who is going to come up to you and be like you know what i think we should do this so it's like a crazy orthodox or unique ideas that this person is going to do it's either business related it's either career related or it's just fun related okay go for it really go for it i think what the universe is trying to tell you here let go don't isolate yourself, find your support system, and be open to any, you know, suggestions, recommendations, people asking you to hang out, and etc. Because I think you need that, okay? So, I think that is it for my reading for you here, Cancer. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity that you've been looking for. And I look forward to, uh, to your next reading next week. Alright, bye-bye guys. Have a great day. I love you.